We are very fortunate to have had behind the scenes access to the build of the multi award winning Wedgwood Garden at this year's Chatsworth Flower Show. The garden was designed by Jamie Butterworth of Butterworth Horticulture. With Wedgwood being the main sponsors of the show, great things were expected of the garden, and Jamie used Keyscape design and construction to build it. We donated our Goldpath self binding gravel to create the base of the garden and have filmed its journey from being loaded in our yard to the delivery to the Wedgwood Garden at Chatsworth. Our goal path was chosen as Jamie wanted a simple material that would work well as a neutral backdrop for the stunning planting, ensuring it stood out without anything detracting from it. The goal path also complemented the rest of the hard landscaping in the garden. We were privileged to be able to visit the site of the Wedgwood Garden several times throughout the build to see how construction was going. We have seen various elements of the garden coming together and were so impressed to see the amount of work that's gone into the creation of it. We interviewed Jamie Butterworth about the design of the garden and how he's incorporated the Wedgwood brand into his plans for it. So we're about halfway through the build now, and so far it's going, it's going okay so far, which is good. Um, but I'm going to talk you through my designs for the garden now, uh, briefly, just to give you some context as to what we're hoping to create. So we're doing the Wedgwood Garden, the garden's inspired by John Wedgwood. John Wedgwood was the son of Josiah Wedgwood, who created the Wedgwood brand. John Wedgwood wasn't really a potter, so he went to try and become a banker. He didn't really like banking, so he tried to become a gardener and he realised he loved horticulture. And just like me, he was a, a plantsman, a horticulturalist and a gardener and he loved planting. We found his original journal, which is in the Lindley Library in Vincent Square at the RHS, where he talks about the plants that grew well, that didn't grow well, that he liked to grow, that he didn't like to grow. But more importantly, at the beginning of his journal, he talks about how he wanted to create a space not to compel admiration, but instead be a homely and lovable space for people to enjoy and use. And that's the ethos that we're hoping to create for the garden here at Chatsworth Flower Show. So we want to create a garden where the hard landscaping takes a backseat and is there to support the planting. So we're using three main hard landscaping materials. We're using clay red bricks, we're using York stone copings, and then we're using gold pack from Stone Warehouse. And hopefully those three materials tie in really well together and provide a, a foil for the planting to do the top. My favourite elements of the design, and as it's starting to come together now, it's getting really exciting to actually see them. I have to say that the trees are my favourite, and we actually designed the garden backwards. We chose the trees first and then the rest of the design came afterwards. So we tagged the trees last July in Germany and then we worked out how we'd fit a garden around the trees, which I'm not quite sure if that's how you're supposed to design the garden, but it seems to be working so far. Um, I love the wall. I love how structural the wall is. And on the paper, it feels massive, but in real life, actually surrounded by these colossal majestic trees that are capable of brown planted, it actually needed to be quite big. And then I love the path and the gold path, the way it ties in with the rest of the plant and provides a neutral palette for the planting to pop. Finally, we visited the garden when the finishing touches were being made and we knew the garden was going to be a hit with the judges. 